Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and recently I've been working on a project to pull 360 volts DC directly out of my electric car and then convert it to power my house in a backup emergency power situation. But obviously there's some safety concerns with that. And one of them is, what if I drove off with a car well connected with a high voltage DC cable? Well, let's make sure that doesn't happen. So here you can see a CHATAMO or CHATAMO, I mean, it's an acronym anyways, 3D printed connector that I built. Uh, it's somebody else's 3D design, but I had a friend print it out. I made the power connections and signal connections inside here. That's gonna go off to a solar inverter, convert it to 120 and 240 volts AC. But the concern is, how do I make sure that I just don't drive away while this thing is plugged in? because an electric car is basically a battery bank on wheels. Now, as we know, back in the old days, sometimes people driving a gas car would drive off from the pump, literally uh, rip a gas pump uh, right off of its base, cause a fire, terrible thing. And we can't do that with electric cars because when you use your typical 120 or 240 volt uh, J1772 connector, you plug in your car to charge, there's a feature in there where it prevents you from turning the car on and driving away when you're plugged in. And it doesn't even matter if you're charging or not, just whether or not that connector is physically plugged into the car. Now, I need to do essentially the same thing with this Chatamo connector, because since I'm doing a special project, I'm kind of um, doing some cheats to enable outputting power through this port from my car. So I absolutely want to make sure that I can't drive off here. So I've got right here a uh, printout of exactly how the connections with Chatamo would normally work. Uh, essentially, it's all analog signals. It's just 12 volt positive and ground at very low current. And then there's also some CAN bus information, but I don't have any of that. I've just got these analog signals. And if we look at the pins on here, uh, pin number seven is marked as a connection check. And if we look at that, it just goes straight to a ground. Uh, there's no switches in the way, nothing like that. Um, over on the car side, goes through a resistor, goes up to the ignition 12 volt. And in this diagram, it just calls it connection check. But mm, I don't know, what's, what's that even really mean? Well, on another diagram, I found that on that one, it was marked as proximity. And proximity just generally means, is something there or not? You know, is something nearby, is something close? Proximity. And typically on the J1772, uh, proximity is also the term used for that pin that when it's connected to your car, prevents you from driving off. So on that pin number seven, from the car side, that wants to be grounded to indicate that there's a connector plugged into it. And if we look on the graphic though, normally that would go back, it would combine with all the other grounds on the Chatamo side. But if we look, it comes back over pin one, which is a ground, uh, it's connecting the Chatamo ground and the car ground together. So we can actually kind of bypass a lot of that just ground connecting by going to the ground on the car. And that is pin number one. That's the topmost pin right there. So if we actually just run a jumper from the topmost pin, pin one, to the top of the bottom grouping of pins, pin number seven, um, that's going to ground it and that's going to be our proximity. So let's take a look at the car and see if we can drive away with those pins jumpered. Okay, so now we're looking at our Chatamo connection, pin one at the very top, pin seven at the top of the bottom group of four pins. We're going to put a wire in here. Now let's go to the front of the car, put the key in and try starting it, see what happens. And we get our flashing plug message, and we can't go into the go mode. So that's pretty cool. We just figured out that just jumpering those two pins together um, keeps us from driving off. So now let's try it with that 3D printed Chanamo connection. Let's plug this bad boy in. Hidden behind the power cord is this blue networking cable for the signal wires, and at the other end of that, all the grounds connect together and pin 7 goes to pin 1. 
The Chatamo connector is in. I'm going to turn the car on. And again, there's our flashing plug indicator, and the car cannot go. Now, the very last thing that I want to test out here is what if you do something really stupid? What if, like, um, you park the car, you leave it on, and you don't notice that it's still on because since it's a battery electric vehicle, um, you don't hear an engine running. This was actually a problem, believe it or not, right when the Prius originally first came out. But if I do that in the car, so let's park it, just leave it running, just leave it all the way on. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm turning the car on. You will notice it went bing bing, and over here it says ready. If I put the gear selector in drive and I press the accelerator, it will drive away. Um, but now I'm going to plug it in, see what happens. And our ready light went away, and our cord plugged in started flashing. And again, that proximity pin is active. The car notices right away, and it cuts power from the, uh, the drive enable mode. So again, we can't drive off. And of course, because this is a high voltage project, I'm never going to have any of these exposed conductors have voltage at them. Uh, it's all shut down, everything's checked first, and when I do work on it, it's only under controlled conditions, out of the weather, and with proper safety equipment. So let me know what you think about this project. I'm having fun working on it. Of course, it's only part way done. I'm kind of chipping away at it, kind of going through safety feature by safety feature, making sure that we do it right. Of course, as a high voltage project is not the sort of thing a beginner wants to be messing around with. I've got over a decade of experience of working on do-it-yourself electric vehicles, but still you never want to overlook anything. Uh, so we'll be talking about uh, you know various other safety features as this project goes. I hope you like it. Please subscribe so that as I have more videos coming out on this project uh, that you get those as I release them. I hope you like these videos. Please like, subscribe, comment, let me know uh, whatever questions you have about this project. And until next time, stay charged up.